get together and talk about their strategy in a huddle. Same, same deal. A huddle is uh, is it's, it's a meeting essentially. Uh, you know, a huddle is the most important meeting we have at Zingerman. It can be department wide. It can be deli wide. A huddle is our um, weekly gathering where we as a staff get together and talk about the finances of the week, um, all the other problems we may have had, some of the upcoming sales, promos. It's basically just an hour-long meeting once a week to touch base with everyone to make sure we're all working toward the same goal. Huddle is basically a fancy word for a staff meeting where we uh, all get together and discuss the departmental operating report. We go over our week, the numbers of the past week. We look ahead in the next week. It's not a meeting where you sit down and have a corporate head guy in front of a table and a bunch of yes men around him. In reality, it's just sort of more like a team getting together. Not one person is responsible for the financial success of this business. Everyone in the work series. It's definitely a joking atmosphere where it's not something where it's tense and hard to come to. It's actually uh, probably one of the more relaxing parts of the day for a lot of people. The department's operating, what is it, the department's, why am I blanking this? Department operating, I don't even remember, report. Do our board is the department. The department's operating. Operating, operating report. report. <laughs> Departmental operating report. Uh, it is the number one important financial document in the business. Each business, each department's DOR is a little bit different by design because every department has different goals. The Retail Operating Board um, measures fish, meat, cheese, all, all the things that are pertinent to our department. So we really break down the numbers line by line, all the different sub-departments of our business, so we'll look at how cheese sold, but it also measures the other things like good service, um, food quality, things like that. Does anyone see what the big news is on that sheet? Because there's big news on that sheet. Well, we made plan. Yeah, we made plans. Yeah, is that surprising to anyone? Yes. Um, no. Weren't we well on our way last week? Were we no. At, we, were, we, were at 70, we were at 74% last week. Yes, but then we had a $46,000 week. Good job. I know. How did we get 130% domestic cheese? Sweet grass. Yeah. We sold all of those 36 rounds of time. That's incredible. Good stuff. All right. Mr. Stack, what was our last week of? Our last week was six. A six. So we got it kind of up and down. It's going to get warmer, so I can see us getting six, two, bumping up maybe a couple over last week. So I think I think yeah. start low and then uh, we'll work our way back up. I like it. I like it. Yes, I think we've been, doing, we've been doing really well in Pyramid Cheeses, and if you look at last month, yeah. we got better every month, or every week almost, mm -hmm. and seemed to be doing really well with that big display, so I think we hit 1.4 all the way across. So what does that add up to? Oh wait, I want to, we probably can't because we don't have that consistent of supply. I know they're going to sheets in couple weeks. But I don't know which, I don't know, I don't know enough about when we get those things in to factor mm -hmm. that in. So I don't think we'll be able to hit 1.4 every week, but I think we could have been sufficient stock. So should we do like a 1.3, 1.4, 1.4, and then somebody can get the monkey to give back to Carlos and say that's our forecast? Sure. And then we can update it. So 1.4, then you 1.3 in this week? No, we have this stock this week. What's that? Our stock is good this week, so let's do 1.4 this week. All right. And then do 1.3 across, or? Yeah, that's good. Can someone take notes, please, of monkeys and collaborators? Monkey for just to find out about cream cheese that we have. It's the monkey on your back. A monkey is a responsibility you have to do, like a monkey on your back. It's on your back, and you gotta get rid of it. <laughs> it's a friendly way of saying get your stuff done. Yeah. You got three minutes to finish keeping score. So where does that put us? 
What's the math here? We're adding 0.4. What's that said? Like seven? Am I doing that right, guys? Passover, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Passover. So, bump Passover and bump graduation by like, two points. I like your confidence, baby. 18 and a half? 19? I mean, that's pretty ambitious. But yeah. Well, we're, we're up in meat. Alright. We're up in cheese and we're up in fish. Alright. 18 and a half? Five, six, seven, eight, 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 e